So let's try this. Let's do like Hellhorned Umbra. What is that thing? What the hell is that thing in the back? I feel like it's gonna lose my win streak. Oh, what's the best way to make Hellhorn pop off? Let's try this out. What's up, my Thomas guy? Okay, so we have a Molten Imp. We have Immortal Trade. Apply Lifesteal and Ember Drain to a friendly unit. And Branding Right. The last boss is gonna be Seraph the Diligent. The Great Shooter will devour your spells. You better bring more of them if you hope to succeed. Okay. Deal two damage whenever an enemy. Oh my god, Jackship is so good, guys. Yes, there are heroes. So you're looking at the different things. So, for instance, instead of Ironclad, I'm Hellhorns. Instead of Silent, I'm Umbra, right? Jack are huge early. Alright. So we get Reaper. Whenever we slay, we get Strength. I'm a fan of that. Or we can do Wrathful. Whenever it slays against armor. I think Wrathful is a little bit weird. I guess you make it like a tank. Wrathful, because it has armor, it becomes your tank. A tank with rage. I feel like Reaper has higher ceiling. Could be wrong. Wrathful and eat morsels. They start with five armor. This is gonna be rough. Fuck it. Let's go for challenges. Cause everything's also gonna like so what's Covenant Ring 5 do? Additional enemies. Minor battles have additional enemies. They're gonna have additional enemies. Let's put this here, and let's torch him, because he's going to get slayed by the time he hits that. Let's put these... here. Yeah, I'm going to go for Drifter Chain, that's my goal. I got the slay now, it's beautiful. We have morsels, this is great. Apply life to three and ember drink to a friendly unit. Mm. Should probably do the friendly imp on this right here. Put friendly imp right here in the front. It kills, nearly kills these guys on the next floor. Yeah, I probably should have friendly imp on him, to be honest. I can put a morsel in front to top. I don't really care about the train stewards, to be honest. I'm trying to get a slay. Do I put Pierce? Do I do bring right on my guy so that he gets uh, some armor? I want this guy to die. Final wave. Can my guy handle this? I should have put this guy in the back. Uh, whoopsies. I should have put this guy in the back. I gotta do mortal trade now. I should have put torch the guy in the back because then he's gonna die from jack strips. It's pretty important that that guy's dead because otherwise he fight so much harder if that guy's not dead. Oh, luckily I did that. Jotted? Is there a cheaper to die in drag, drag strips? 17 per deep, my goal is the size of my deck. <laughs> size of my deck. Ascend a unit. Now, ascending is a pretty powerful, like doing some overstacking stuff. I think the ability to overstack is pretty useful. I'm gonna take the ascension. Add a morsel minor, do mind collapse. Let's do morsel minor. Morsel maker? Say it ain't so.
We can upgrade our units. We can get an umber unit. We can get gold and upgrade our spells. So what spells do we want to upgrade right now? I could upgrade Morsel Minor Spell. I could upgrade my Morsel Maker so it stays alive longer. And I can get an umber unit. Let's do it. Wait. Let's go get the unit first. Oh, shit. Do I use this as my scaler, or do I want to scale my champion? Which, one's it? Which one is it? I mean, this is like, kind of not as good compared to Penumbra last game. Oh, it's permanent for the rest of the run. Wait, permanently for the rest of the run. Wait. Yeah, let's try this. <laughs> let's try this out. Permanence. Let's give him quick. Let's give him damage shield so he doesn't die. Let's pog. So that's the pips. So that's how much space to take up in a train. So when you're in a train, um, you can only... I'll show you right now. Spikes. I feel like the spikes might be a little bit hard, right? Nah, it's fine. Jack strips. To get the gorge artifact again. Jack strips just counteracts this fight. All right, so we got Morsel Maker. I'm gonna put Morsel Maker for my my guy. My guy, little Miss uh, Overgorger. There he is. Wait. Wait. I... Fuck, I need to kill these... One of these morsels. I felt... Like, as soon as I did that, I thought that was gonna happen. Ugh, fuck me. Jeez. The points. Okay, so you see this right here? The floor capacity. So for instance, this guy costs three space, and this guy costs one space, these cost one space. So I can only play it two more pips worth of units. This guy is three, so I can't do that. Capacity is too high. Uh, me not being able to play Overgorge is quite unfortunate. So I need to get Torch alongside of Overgorger. Or I need to freeze him so I can do the Torch thing. Hmm. Yeah, I can increase capacity as well. Eating his own children. I know an overgorger is permanent, so I'm not getting any advantage of the permanent stuff right now. I just lose. I just straight up lose. Okay, let's uh not make my overgorger not get any stats ever again.
How many floats are there? How many bosses? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bosses, including the final boss. Eight bosses. Duplicate Morsel Maker. And I can ascend the Morsel Maker, right? I duplicate the Morsel Maker and ascend it. This is going to be disgusting. You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this shit? Alright, let's just not get baited again. Wait, do we want two overgorges? Probably not, right? You been digging it? I'm glad you dig it. Uh, technical augury. It's cool, man. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Oh, this is a new one. A cave of a thousand eyes. Seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth and you may be rewarded. If you're redeemed worthy. Well, I have done this before, actually. You don't often make offerings to unknown beasts, but you consider making an exception for this cave. Let's lose health. A loud pouch. Your worth has yet to be determined. We need further tribute to be swayed. More life. Another offering. Okay, five more life. You still are not satisfied. More life. Okay, boom. Friendly units enter with two life still. That's very nice. Yeah, no worries, Alphamas. It's fine. Okay, so let's not get baited with the Overgorger. We need to, uh... If anything, put motion makers on the bottom and send them up, right? I need Overgorger to be frozen. Or something. Get damage shield. I missed out a potentially a lot of scaling. I can also scale up this guy for now. Right? Until... Until my... Overgorger is ready, and I can put Overgorger in front, and then put the Morsel Maker in back. So he doesn't die, right? Because they only doesn't explode twice. Beautiful. He has a damage shield, so it's fine. Let's torch these guys. I didn't get to put a Morsel Miner, but that's fine. I know, I know. Life doesn't seem as important. Maybe it become more important later on. There was a run where life was important for me, but that's because I played terribly. Alright, as soon as we get ascend, we ascend this guy up and it's over. So I'm losing my boss, but I don't even care. Alright, time to get the permanent strength, guys. Alright, permanent strength, you ready? Ascend this guy up. Oh my god. As long as the longer this fight goes, the more scaling I get. Give me some armor. You guys ready? Oh boy. I'm getting eight permanent strength a turn. He needs to stay alive, of course. Do I give this guy a Merle trade now? Hi. Two times Gorger artifact would be insane here. Over Gorgers are already getting quite large. We can ascend this guy up. Oh, it's, it's full, right? So if it's full, you can't ascend, right? Correct. So let's give more uh, life steal on this guy. 
Look at that overgorger. Let's go. GG. So instead of having Penumbra, I just have Overgorger as my new Penumbra. I guess that just works. If we want, we could add a, a Pip Space. We could add a Pip Space to... um. Wait, do you have 10 damage to the front enemy equals the number of 220 times the number of imps in your deck? That's 40 damage to the front. Wretch. Wretch is not that good because I don't have enough space to play them. And then we can do forever consumed. Is, is it either impolite or just like nothing, in my opinion? Inert multi strike. Because so this guy's insane, right? When you when he gorges, he gains fuel and he has multi strike. But I'm gonna keep skipping because I think our deck is already done. We just have we have a theme and we're just like sticking to it, you know? And as I get better at the game, I feel like I'm just sticking skipping a lot more cards. Just now I have a theme, I think I'm good. I think Seraph's and Light of Seraph will give me a little bit more wiggle room to do my stuff. Because I don't have to defend on I don't have to depend on um ascending, you know? Because I don't think I, this gives me more wiggle room, so I don't have to depend on an ascending for the motion maker. And I can play motion maker as soon as I see it. So this this gives me a lot more wiggle room. Enhancements are like boss relics. Take care, fireworks. But give me some energy is always nice. Let's get some energy first. Uh, artifacts are going to be pretty good for us. We can remove more cards so our deck's more consistent. Or we can just get an artifact because artifacts are nuts. Conserve energy between turns. Volatile gauge. We draw an extra three cards a turn and cards of are randomized. Their costs are randomized. Do we take the volatile snake away or do we take ice cream? AKA Unbroken Horn. Huh, interesting. Volatile gauge can get my setup going... Like, I can get my thing going off quicker. Because I can draw into it easier. Hmm. I'm fucking hard is probably a little bit better with a, um... Ember Drain, probably. But Volatile Gauge is like... Oh, Hydration? Yes. I think the horn's better? I don't know. I don't think the horn's better, guys. I think drawing into my overgorger right away is. Drawing to the overgorger right away is pretty important. Like, an extra three card draw turn is really good, guys. Three card draw turn. Uh, an extra three card draw turn. Let me get the water. Let's do a broken horn. So uh, my, my decks will be more consistent like this. Okay. Steel worker. Skip. Let's give me that gold. Alright. More slate. I mean, my guy at this point is just like, I wanted to see Reaper level 3, but I don't even care about my champion as much. Yeah, the, the 3 draw is very important. Alright, they're gonna have 10 armor. Uh oh. Let's hope we don't die. People forget how oh, Snakeo is so important. Is that the two cards off Snakeo is really important. So here's the problem. I can do more Snakeo here and scale my guy up just a little bit in anticipation of uh, ascending the Morsel Maker. Because if I had the Seraphs, I can play Morsel Maker right away, but whatever. I mean, giving my guys some stats is not the worst thing in the world. These guys that are Jacks, anyways. Oh, they actually have. They have the. Uh, They have armor. Otherwise, Black Trips would destroy this fight if they didn't have armor. Oh, they had the conduit. Oh, they had the conduit. I have my combo here though, fuck. But I wanted to get that gold. Ah, uh, fuck. I wanna get that gold. But Morsel Maker is probably more important, right? So, like, if you think about it, getting this guy scaled up quicker is worth more than 75 gold. Yeah, because 
of jack strips not going through the armor, the haste is a little bit more detrimental because I gave everybody 10 armor. But if I get my motion maker on this guy right away, it's probably more important than 75 gold, isn't it? Or I could try to kill that and then just forget about motion maker and wait for ascending. I think scaling my my orgorge is more important than 75 gold. Get Moly Dragon's head? Yeah. I wish I could remove an upgrade, that would be sick, huh? It would be sick. Unfortunately, I can't move, remove an upgrade. The guy's about to die, I gotta be careful. Staying alive by the skin of his teeth. Let's put double motion maker up top. And now he's gonna scale like crazy. He needs to heal though. We need to get a full heal of some sort. Cherries. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll say you. Uh oh, he's dying. I'm gonna send this unit so I don't die. Right? Holy shit. I probably took a lot of damage, but basically I'm trying to scale my my guy. So I'm, once I give him life steal, I give him the life steal, and then he can heal back up. I can also give him some armor right now. They're gonna skip the second floor. Wait, they're just skipping the second floor. That's fucked up. Oh, we give him life steal, and he wins. Look at that, life steal, and he wins. Cause he has quick. So since he has quick, he, he attacks first and heals first. I think those cards frozen me really good. So if I can just freeze the life steal card for when the boss comes, it's really nice. Sick. Deal 100 damage to all friendly and enemy units. Summon gain energy. This is skip. Minus one pip, plus one energy for the rest of the battle. Two engine upgrade. All the power damage? I think it is. I think it's worth. Trinkets or upgrade spells? It's artifact and trinkets. Let's do it. When a card with consumers played, restore second unit a turn. Let's get Hell's Banner. That's so good with morsels. It's actually insane. So now we're not worried about energy at all. Units gain an extra upgrade slot. Summon abilities to trigger a second time. Wait, does that work for... Immortals? No, it's when something gets summoned, yeah? Like, multi nymph Okay. Let's get card draw. This is, this is huge. Wait, this is huge. So, unit slot, and now we have... Card draw when we play the third card. And since Hell's Banner gives us energy from Morsels, so whenever we summon two Morsels, which we do all the time, we get energy, now we have card draw. Holy shit. We don't even need summon abilities though. We just gotta find a unit upgrade shop and give him multi strike and it's game over. Nah, that's a resolve. That's not a summon. Uh, do we want to take a risk for this gold? I feel like this might be a little risky because I don't. I don't feel quite 
confident just yet that I'm like, my guy has a little bit low, low life. But Overgorger has low life. Until he has multi strike, I don't think I could do this trial. But the second fans just die to the jack strips, so that's fine. The second fans just die. And wait, what's what's my attack at on the Overgorger right now? What's his attack? Because he has quick. Oh, he has 70 attack. He attacks first. He's gonna kill mostly everything. He's gonna kill mostly everything immediately. Yeah, we're doing it. Morsel Maker is the uh, it summons morsels. Morsels. You got the scaling up, my dude. Jack Trips just destroys this fight. We got the over. Oh, we got a GG. So now I'm gonna get strength sooner. So now he's gonna have 90 plus strength, and he's gonna one shot everything. Oh, we get to summon things as well. Might as well just play that. Fuck it. Let's add the Morsel Miner right here. Huge. And let's add like a train steward. Why not? Oh, GG. I already set up to success. Oh, so now we want to ascend this Morsel Maker. So we put the Morsel Maker in the back and we want to ascend it. Unfortunately, wait, this train steward is getting the buffs at the moment. This imp doesn't really matter. Just torch the guy in the back. We got more card draw. Uh, I need to put that somewhere. I need more space. Now we need to ascend. Let's ascend. Let's ascend. Where's my ascend? There it is. GG. Let's give him brand new right. And. uh him. Okay, so this gets negative one, but I get one more energy for the rest of the battle. I mean, I don't even know if I, I can't even use this energy. I actually need to remove Shade Splitter. Shade Splitter is really bad card. Shade Splitter doesn't do crap for me. I'm winning off the back of Umbra, nothing to do, like, Hellhorn is not, it's just like there. Overgorger is broken. Oh, he's dying. That's unfortunate. So let's make him not die. And keep him alive. So it's better for this, I guess. I can scale up my champion. This is good. So it's better good for this. I can put this. I don't want this for my deck. Let's get, get rid of it. In fact, I can just send him up. Why not? Now I can. Now I have less space to do morsel stuff with the, this guy in that lane. But we still have still have space. These guys are big. I'm gonna die again. Nope. Never mind. Did it. Let's keep doing branding right. Dude, look how big this guy is. Might as well put this guy right here. Might as well make him bigger. We want to have it in another trade for when the boss comes. Oh, he has sweep. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're putting this right now on him because the boss is coming. We have so much excess energy. Look how much energy we have. It's ridiculous. More so minor. Dude, my guy's gonna die though. Wait, my guy's just gonna die. Wait, fuck. I need to heal him somehow. My champion didn't get to do anything there. Oh, uh, no more open up trades. Keep this guy alive so he actually gets some damage in. I can ascend him, I can't even ascend him, no. I can't ascend. Wait, can I just ascend the boss and end it? <laughs> it's better to not ascend because I actually get to more scaling my overboarder. And 
GG, we did it, boys. Boss again? Okay, that makes sense. Shit, we're doing it, man. We're rich as well. Once we can multi track this game over, right? Sacrifice Imp, gain 2 energy, draw 1. That's really good. Reporting works really nice. Uh, Applied damage shield. That's really good to keep my Overgorger alive, yeah? That's really good. Whoa. You want Kaven? If we find Kaven, we'll find it. Alright, we need to upgrade. We need to find multi strike. So we're going here to find multi strike. Like, we have a game plan. That's what we want to do. Find multi strike. Nope, nope, nope. Reroll. Nope. None of these are it. None of these are multi strike. What wants what, what, what wants endless? Mortal does Mortal Maker want endless just in case it dies? It make imps have endless? I mean it's not the worst, right? I can save my money though. I want to remove a lot of cards. Like for instance, I don't want the torches. And I don't really The AOE imps should go endless. I mean, I have Jack Strip. But I'll do this. I'll give one of them endless. Let's leave. Okay. Cavern. What do we got? The train stops near some familiar crystals. The Covenant Memorial in the middle is refracted twice by the crystals surrounding it. One larger, one smaller. In front of each, there are markings for a creature to stand and receive the remaining energy. Do you investigate the crystals further? Make one unit plus two, and I guess 30 30. Make one unit, one cost. Do I make my Overgorger one cost? Or I can give him plus two, but then I can't do the double. I can't do the double morsel maker thing. The problem is I can't do double morsel maker. And just ascending them is not good. I don't know. I, I think that's. I think that's uh, not, not not good. For consistency's sake. His life is a problem, but if, he, if we give him multi-strike, he's gonna have quick and multi-strike, and we just, we'll be fine. But he has so much attack damage as it is. Look at him. He's already has 112. We got more Shemiko already. It's sick. Oh, look at it. It's sick. Let's put this down there. We don't care about him. Sorry, buddy. Love you. Smiley Vader. One second. So Overgorger gains two strength permanently when you feed him. So he's getting two strength permanently. That's what's happening. That's what's happening to these boys. So we have so much... We have so much um, energy that I uh, now all I need is slots. I need to give him trample. I need the thing that gives me trample. It's important that I get the thing that gives me trample. Sluts. Sluts and sluts. I'm an enabler. <laughs> you know those, those shows where the people are like morbidly obese and they have like a husband or a wife that are like feeding them? And you're wondering like, how the hell does this happen? Like, what? what? I'm, I'm being that person right now. Alright, so... Nine times damage shield. Wait, I just realized I have ice cream with prismal dust. If I make this permafrost, I can make this guy take no damage ever. Wait, I'm just gonna do nine. But I just realized I broke the game. And I can have crazy amount of damage shield while also doing crazy amount of damage. Yeah, GG. He's 40 armor too.
Dude, imported on that is so cool. Let's keep my guy alive a little bit. I don't even need champion. This is my champion. Overgorger. Cool. Hope you guys like it, YouTube. It's a YouTuber. Impulate. Let's just send this guy forward. Problem is, I need trample. I really need the card that makes trample now. Hey, my guy's gonna die. It is what it is, right? <laughs> Is, wait, my pyre's in danger because this guy's taking too much damage or doing too much damage. Uh, the problem is when things like this happen. I don't. I need trample. I, I really need trample. Trample is like the last thing for this build to work. Trample is the last thing I need here. You can make an infinite with this deck, yep. Like if you if you can do important work so. Uh my powers are 18 life, that's really bad. I need trample or multi-strike. Still, Ember Drain doesn't mean anything. Like, if I had 21 energy, Ember Drain doesn't mean crap. Just gotta get the guy lifesteal now. More lifesteal. GG. He has so many damage shields. Look at him. Shit, I'm breaking the game. Feel darkness. 42 damage taken. That's way too much. We need to heal up. Consume. So we have X cost cards. Wait. Wait. Shroud spike. And we have ice cream. And we can just do it on the life one, so my Gorgia has a shit ton of life. Oh boy. Oh boy. So energy is good. We're good with energy now, right? So I just take card troll. This is gonna be nuts. Spike the Gorgia. Alright. We wanna find multi strike, so we're gonna go here because we really want to find multi strike or trample. The trample is not in this, but. Uh, where's multi strike? Fuck. Fuck. Where's multi strike? <laughs> I have all these unit upgrades and I'm not utilizing them. I'm rolling. I'm, I'm looking for multi strike, boys. Hmm, this is pretty good, right? We can put something down. So we can get the sender unit and get it dazed, or get it something to the top and get it dazed. I'm gonna do send down. So I can buy more time to scale. Uh, if I don't get multi-strike on my like, overgorger, I guess it's not the end of the world. At some point I should give him just something. Oh, because we have one more immersion of steel to find the upgrade we want to find. We have one more chance. Alright, and let's get the biggest slay 40. If he kills, it gets 40 strength. Nice. 
Although we don't really care about him too much. Sad truth. No, we have one more opportunity. The enter with spikes. Yes. Spikes is a little bit rough, but fearless. It's gonna kill my champion pretty easily. Alright, we got the morsel maker. Beautiful. We can do this. We can send this guy later on. It's fine. We can do this. Impalate. Try to find our, our overgorger. Let's just do this again. Why not? We're not gonna do problem with us just yet. We get ice cream. What's up, Fanny? Fanny pigs. Um, there he is. And now we can ascend our morsel maker. And let's put this right here to kill the guy in the back. Easy, easy. I want to save my champion though. Uh, well, my champion's dead. Alright, I'm all in on this strategy, guys. Let's hope that I don't get... My pirate gets killed, because my guy can only kill one unit at a time. If I didn't put the imp, what I could have done was put the imp in front and tank it. So I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I was supposed to... I was supposed to put the imp in front and it takes the hit and then my champion stays alive. So I just kill my champion. Fuck. That's a big mistake. Fuck. Literally it's a difference between having a guy who has 60 damage and doing 60 damage or nothing. No, I could just put the imp in front to begin with. To tank it, like almost always. I just lost 60 damage per turn, which is quite brutal. But the biggest problem is that my Gorger can only kill one unit at a time. Okay, well, we'll roll with the punches. We'll roll with the punches here. I want Shrestak to get crazier, right? So the thing is, we need Shrestak to be a little bit crazier. I don't need to do multi nip anymore. I just gotta get the effects to be really big. Maybe this guy can just do it. Oh, I didn't put my imp that dies, so now I can't kill these things. Wait. They died of jack strips, it's fine. We just end turn. Oh, this guy's gonna get through to my pyre. Fuck. See, he's starting to happen. Did we have summoners? What do you mean, which ones? Oh my god, my power's about to die. Oof. Oh, we have Shroud Spike. Where's the health one? The one that has health? I can't tell. Which one's the health one? This one? It's all permanent strength, by the way. Giving a damage shell would be quite nice as well. Oh man, but... Wait, if... Okay, Jack Strips... Jack Strips is saving my ass. Freaking Jack Strips is saving my ass, dude. Holy shit, Jack Strips is so clutch. If I didn't have Jack Strips, I was dead. Which for summoners are you talking about? Which one? Which, which one? Are you talking about the guys in the back? They summon two little morsels every at the end of combat, the, and then these guys, these guys are is if they kill something, they they restore health. What's the final boss here? And he eats them, exactly. So, the way morsels work is that the guy in the front, in the front row, eats the uh, thing and then they get triggered abilities. So when these guys are eating, the eater gets plus four and the eater gets plus five, four health. And four, four, plus four strength. And when he eats, he has a gorge ability that he gains two strength permanently. 
between between fights. So it's crazy. What we're about to do is uh, we're about to give this guy a crazy amount of damage shield. So look look what's gonna happen here. We're gonna give this guy 19 damage shield. So he's just never gonna die. And we give him life steal and ember drain. So now he also has life steal as well. If he were to take damage. Um, so yeah, we we basically kill everything, no problem. The difference becomes we need trample. Because without trample, then our pyre gets our pyre is in danger of dying. But what we can do is next time just not kill my champion, because I put the imp in front, and then that champion not dying will actually help me not take pyre damage. That was my bad. No trample, no trample. This could help, right? Emery Cash? Yeah, no worries. Forever ask questions. All right, we have one last chance to find multi-strike, guys. One last strike. You guys ready? Dude, what would we want to duplicate, though? Like, do, would we ever want to duplicate the... Uh... Wait, what if we duplicate our overgorger? We have two of them. Wait. What if we just make two overgorgers? <laughs> okay. Because YouTube wants to see that. YouTube wants to see two 294 overgorgers duplicated. Right? But they also want to see it with multi-strike. Make two lanes with this, exactly. Can make two lanes. And therefore, nothing's gonna get by me now. I can upgrade it because I have. We minor refraction takes the slot? I'm so I'm so mad. Okay. Well that makes it that makes it, that makes our life easier. So what we want to have permafrost is this. We want Shroud Spectre, I have Permafrost, yeah? <laughs> and we want Impolate to get out of my deck? No. We want this? No. Yeah, maybe I want this out of my deck. Like, I don't know. Wait, what, wait, wait. No, why would I ever do that piercing? What am I talking about? What the fuck? I don't need all these torches. Uh... Let's see what this has first. Before we do anything, let's see what this trinket has first. When you first, when you first summon your first, you draw one. Oh my god! You gotta be shitting me, dude. You gotta be shitting me, man. Let's go. Fossilized fangs, mask of penumbra. Okay, and then um, let's duplicate. Duplicate this big overgorge that we scaled up to be huge, quick. 294. Beautiful. And I guess we can re-roll the trinkets to see what we get. Summon a morsel miner on each floor. Or enemies get minus one. That's so cute. Look at that. Commemorative spike. Morsel miner. Let's go for the um enemies get minus one. And then let's remove a card like this dude. Oh yeah, I made my card worse. Oh, that's fine. All right, my spells get consumed. I forgot about this. Fuck. I forgot. I got rid of my clear. I also, because I have jack strips, but I also, um, well, I can put overgorge in two lanes, right? That's like that's the goal. And the goal is to have it in two lanes. So we're gonna get rid of shade splitter. Shroud's back already? No, no, no. I do want to save energy, though. I did mess up, though. I, I removed my one of my imps. I should have removed, like, something for... I have worse cards in my deck than that. More so maker time. My guy's already dying. Let's put Overgorger in front. Oh my god, two of them. Oh my god, what are they gonna do? 
So we need to do something that consumes. So this already consumes, so we can we can eat up the consume, because this already consumes. I'm putting train story on the bottom, sorry buddy. Goodbye. Don't be mad. Boom. Okay, another motion maker on top. I can try to get some damage on. I can get rid of Impoli, I don't need it. Right? Put motion maker on top first. Then let's say we don't want like Brandy Rate more than once. So then we can play Impoli more than once. We can do damage to the boss. 332 damage to the boss, no problem. And then we could do um, get rid of these things. And give her chain storage. I don't really care about them, unfortunately. And get this out of the deck as well. Although I should save it for when I want to use a spell, but at this point, it's not gonna matter. I have one in which floor. I'm not gonna make two more smakers in one floor. I'm just gonna have two double more smakers, and then I can like save space in this floor to add more so like morsels. Wait, I did not think that through. Whatever, he did his job. Honestly, he did his job. Let's do shot spike now. On health. Honestly, he did his job. He did his job. I'm fine with it. Still going. Holy shit. Nah, but I can't play more. So those cards are bad. Like the the one that create emotional in the lane is bad because I actually don't have space to do it except for like the suicide, you know. So things like that. Like Chase footer is actually really bad. I don't need it. I can keep my guy alive though by doing this. It's important to keep him alive because my guy does 184 damage. That's really important. Like 184 is actually nothing to scoff at. And we just chill here, Tom. If I play one more card, I can get energy back. So let's play like... Let's just play in play, never mind. Alright, let's do that. Let me get energy back. Alright, let's save those for the consume, because I want those to consume. And we can take up the, the bosses and keep up, which is called what again? Power Drink. This is on Covenant Rank 5. Not really tangible though. Alright. Now, if we can kill those things, I can try to make the damage go to the boss. Let's see. I want to keep my guy alive, so I'm going to do this. Keep my guy alive. And... Let's do that. So, oh, he's going to die immediately. Fuck. He's going to... I can kill my dude. This is fine. This has 135 because of the jack strips, but I'm, on, I'm not trying to save my champion a little bit, so let's see if we can do um, that. And we need to add one more unit. Yeah, add one more unit somehow. I can just say it, just send a unit so that I keep my champion alive. And we can do Prime Dust now and get Scott shit ton of damage shields. Get it out of the deck. Fuck it, right? So now he has 14, 16 damage shields. I can put him on the chain, true. I can, keep the, I can keep the champion alive. That's 100% true. Probably better. But at this point, the game's already over. We get this on our guy up here. Give him a life steal. Sacrifice. Do it again. Isaac. Can I? I can't send the guy, unfortunately. My champ is alive, though. My champ is alive.
The dude with 16 shields. I want my champ to try to get a hit on the boss. Somehow, some way. But she does 9, nine times 3. So how can I do that? I want, I want the champ to at least get the hit on this guy, so how can I do that? Can't. I'm gonna send this forward? Nah. I can't even do that either because if I send this up... Wait, is my, is my thing about to die? Well, my power has 40 damage, right? So I'm taking... Holy shit, I'm close to dying. Wait, this needs to die. GG. Gotta get rid of these things. GG. 2 HP, no problem. Alright, so the Hellhorn was just there just to be cute. So I got a Hellhorn victory, right? But it was Umbra doing all the work. My Hellhorn was just there.